we'll be continuing our own work uh, that's going to continue to be funded in our center and other centers to really think about now how do we get from health to disease. So we, we, uh, we're beginning to have a fairly good understanding about what the microbiome looks like in healthy adults at least. We're still trying to gather more data about the opposite ends of the spectrum of the human lifespan. So this study really focuses on young adults but we need to understand more about children, the microbiome in children, adolescents, and the elderly. So that's next, and that's, that's happening and it's coming in the second phase, let's say, the second generation of the human microbiome uh, project. And secondly, uh, I, the, the understanding of how uh, defects in the microbiome may contribute to disease and how we might be able to correct that. So we're just now beginning that next journey of the translation from discovery to development and delivery, the three Ds in innovation. It's really moving into now the translational phases of development and delivery. How do we develop new treatments? How do we develop new diagnostics? And then hopefully if we can improve diagnosis, improve treatment, uh, if we can somehow uh, mold this microbiome, because the really neat thing about the metagenome or microbiome is that it is relatively plastic. We can change it because it's on our skin, the airways, the intestine, it's accessible. And that means that we have ways of getting at it and changing the composition and function in ways that are very hard to do when we're talking about the human heart and the liver and the lung itself.